Hi, I'm Paul Cassidy, R&D Manager on the PCI Express Controller team. and I'm here at PCI SIG 2014 to talk to you about our PCI Express Controller with 4.0 technology. Okay, here we have our core consultant tool that allows you to configure and generate your own IP depending on your requirements. You see we've added the Gen 4 parameters recently. Um, you can select your own lane width from by one up to by 16. You, we have full control over all the parameters of PCI Express, payload sizes, number of tags. If you want to generate FPGA technology, you click this box and you can build for FPGA with extra pipelining so the timing can be met. Um, all the features of PCI Express are supported. You don't need to go to Synopsys to get this. You get the tool, you download it, and you can unpack and generate your own IP. Um, when you're happy with your configuration, you just click Apply, and your IP gets unpacked into a source directory. You've got the Verilog code. Core Consultant can also be used to run simulations and to synthesize and generate your netlist in your target technology. Here's the format of our verification environment. We've got a top level test bench with a PCI Express controller root RC device, a PCI Express endpoint verification IP. Both the controller and the VIP support Gen 4 speeds. The demo here is showing Gen 4 with 8 lanes. Here we have uh, the results after running simulations. You see the full link up sequence. We start off and we link up at Gen 1. We go to Gen 3 and do equalization. We go to Gen 4 and equalize. And then our test begins. We drop the Gen 1 speed, send some traffic move to Gen 2, send traffic, Gen 3, send traffic, and finally Gen 4 and send traffic. At Gen 4 speed, notice we've got 62.5 picoseconds period on the symbol on the link, which corresponds to 16 gigatransfers per second. Here we're showing the link training sequences. From Gen 1, we get to Gen 1, go to recovery speed, link up at Gen 3, do our equalization, then go to Gen 4 and re-equalize. Again, here's our test phase where we go to Gen 1, send traffic, Gen 2, send traffic, Gen 3, send traffic, and finally Gen 4 and send traffic. Finally, we have in our test bench a throughput monitor that measures the throughput of the data being transmitted by the device. You can see here at Gen 1 speed we have approximately 1.7 megabytes per second of throughput. When we switch to Gen 2 speed we get 3.4 megabytes per second. At Gen 3 we get 6.8 and finally moving to Gen 4 speed we get about 13.7 megabytes per second of throughput. What you've just seen is a demonstration of our Gen 4 controller IP. For more information visit synopsis.com. Thank you.